Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to talk about Sprite 2D. Sprite 2D is a lightweight C++ library for 2D sprite rendering using Raylib. This library simplifies the process of rendering 2D sprites, handling animations, and providing various utility functions for sprite manipulation. You can check out this library in my GitHub page. Let's create a simple game using Sprite 2D. We are going to use a sprite cheat for the player animations. Here's our sprite cheat. As you can see it has some rows and columns. Each row contains some animation and each column is a frame of that animation. We are gonna use the 9, 10, 11 and 12 rows for walking animations. First thing we need to do is to initialize our window and create the main loop. Now let's create our Sprite 2D game objects. The Sprite 2D object constructor needs a texture path and total rows and columns of textures. If there's only one row and column in the texture, leave the values undefined. Ok now let's set some values for our sprite 2D game objects. We are going to have a health bar as UI, a medkit and of course our player. Now let's create some animations for our player. You just need to create an instance of animation. The constructor needs total frames of animation, start frame, and the animations row in the sprite sheet. Now let's create the player movement. To set the current animation, you just need to call the set animation function. In the previous videos, we talked about the movement. We need to stop the animation when the player stops moving. Now let's draw our game objects on the screen. You can also draw a border for game objects.
Ok let's run the game. You can see our sprite 2D game objects and the player's movement. Now we need to load our background texture. And draw it. Much better. Ok now let's add the player's health and set the health bar value to it. You can use the select rect function to draw a part of the sprite sheet. Now let's say if the player hits the medkit the health increases. We need to reposition the medkit after the player hits it, sending it to a random position on the screen. We are going to use the random header. We have to make sure the new random positions are in the screen and visible to player. There is something wrong here. You little pi- Okay now everything is fine. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.